think it is totally fair to be a little bit worried about Joe Musgrove. Let's look at the like under the hood numbers because it's one thing to look at ERA six two nine and be like, oh, not great. But then there could be some things where he's getting unlucky. Maybe he has a runner on base and the reliever sucks that day and he gets charged with the earned run. So ERA is not the the uh, you know the biggest thing to look at sometimes. What I think we should look at is baseball savant 2023 compared to 2024. And I get it, 2024, it's a small sample size, but what is the hard hit percentage? What is the whiff rate? What is the chase rate? What is the average exit velocity? What is the fastball velocity? Little things like that. So 2023, I'm looking at his baseball savant, 32nd percentile in fastball velo. 2024, it's at 22. 22nd percentile. So that isn't great. Average exit velocity, 80th percentile in 2023. In 2024, 36th percentile, which is not great. The blue, the blue, you want it to be in the red. You want it, you don't want it to be in the blue. And if you go look at the 2024 Savant page of Joe Musgrove, there's a lot of blue there. So that's where I'm like, okay, yeah, a little bit concerned. And remember, 2023, Musgrove was dealing with some injuries and having to battle back from that. He is coming off the surgery, but I thought he was healthy. He may be healthy and just struggling with mechanics. But yeah, walk rate, 2023, 90th percentile. So he wasn't walking many guys. 2024, 39th percentile. So more walks, more barrels, 52nd percentile in 2024. And in 2023, 87th percentile barrel percentage. So it was better. Not as many barrels last year compared to this year. So he's getting hit. He's walking more guys. Let's look at uh, whiff rate. Not just strikeout rate, but whiff rate. 2023, it was 48th percentile. 2024, oh, it's actually a little bit better. 64th percentile. It did go down, though, 20, uh, 2024. K rate so far, 27th percentile. And 2023, it's actually the same, sorry, 27th percentile. Chase rate, 40th percentile this year, 99th percentile last year. So he was really getting guys to chase last year. That's not the case this year. So there are some underlying things there where it's not as good. I'm not just talking about ERA, but some other things where there is a little bit cause of concern. And then just results-wise, right? It's a results-based business. You could get lucky, but you're getting good results, so maybe we don't talk about it as much. Bottom line, results, it's not good enough for the standards that we have for Joe Musgrove. Um, I believe in the talent. He cares. Don't have to question him with that. So the ability is there to bounce back. I just wonder how long will it take to bounce back because is he dealing with something that we don't know about or is it just mechanics that he can fix is it something that he's trying to battle through right now? Health-wise, shoulder-wise, elbow, where we're obviously seeing a bunch about these injuries with Spencer Strider and a lot of guys. Garrett Cole, obviously, on the shelf. There's a lot of guys. Those were just two that I named. Shane Bieber, after the great start, he was having a great start, and he ends up on the shelf. You know, A lot of guys... Um, one of the Mariners' top pitching prospects that happened, you know? It, it sucks what's happening with the injuries, and you just don't hope that something is happening with Joe. I'm not saying that it is. I I hope that he's just, you know, frustrated with mechanics and it's nothing injury-wise, but it is something to keep an eye on here when the velocity, at least fastball velo, in terms of percentile rankings on Baseball Savant, has gotten worse compared to last year. And it's not like his velo was Spencer Strider last year either, if that makes sense, right? Um, and by the way, XERA, so ballpark adjusted, I believe, is what that is. Third percentile, and last year it was 90th percentile. So there's that. 